Hi, I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. Today we're gonna to talk about targeting oil clearance on an undersized crankshaft. So if you're rebuilding an engine that the crankshaft has been damaged in, whether it's spun a bearing or just has excessive wear on the bearing surface, you're gonna have to get that crankshaft machined down to an undersize, and then you're gonna use a thicker bearing to make up the difference for the material that was removed from the crankshaft. The problem that this presents is when you're using a stock size crankshaft, most engines have bearing sizes available that can be a thousandths less oil clearance than stock or a thousandth more oil clearance than stock and you can mix and match to suit. However, when you move to a 10 under or 0.25 under crankshaft after you've machined that crankshaft surface away, the bearing options normally neck down to one size. In order to work around this, you're gonna target the oil clearance from the start and provide that to the crankshaft shop in order to get the right oil clearance when you're done. Now machining the crankshaft is no small task. The crank machinist has to be able to remove material from the journals without creating egg or taper. So the factory machine work is very, very nice and you hope to get at least that good of machine work when you work with an aftermarket crank grinder. The problem is, is when they grind that crank to size, the steps that are left between the grinding of the crankshaft and the final polishing of the crankshaft, there's not a lot of material to be removed. So it's not like you can go back in and polish to take away a thousandths of crankshaft or half a thousandths of crankshaft and really target an oil clearance. And most crankshaft polishing shops are still using like a belt sander and they're doing it by hand where some of the more exotic crankshafts have very expensive specific machines that are able to remove around a half a thousandths of material if need be without creating egg or taper in the journal. In order to avoid a situation where the crankshaft comes back from the machine shop ready to go back in the engine and you simply don't have the vertical oil clearance you desire, you're gonna go ahead and measure your tunnel, make sure it's within spec, install your 10 under or 20 under main or rod bearings into the either housing bore of the block or the housing bore of the rod and understand what that measurement is. From there, you can prescribe an oil clearance. I would say anywhere from two thousandths of an inch to two and a half thousandths of an inch is a really good place to be for most piston engines and you can go ahead and give that number to the machine shop that's going to turn the crankshaft and give them a number to target. For years we've been using a company called Ohio Crankshaft and they've been doing work for me and I've had very good luck with them. So if you don't have a reputable crank grinder in your area, we'll go ahead and link to them below and you can have access to that shop as well. Now over the years I've tried to use standard crankshaft because I do enjoy having accessibility to different bearing size increments and often I will split sets using an H and an HX bearing to get the target clearance that I'd like. However, as these engines age and cores begin to dry up, I find myself having to use less than perfect cores and having to send them out to have the crankshafts turned and you may be in a similar situation yourself. So it's not the end of the road if you have to have the crankshaft turned, but you wanna get ahead of what your oil clearance will be before you send the crankshaft out because once that is done and the crank is polished, going back in and removing a thousandths of an inch is not gonna be a task you're gonna be able to accomplish while keeping the crankshaft journals away from having egg and taper. Now I would like to add, there are men out there that can refinish a crankshaft to precision levels with older equipment. The point of the video is not to demonize the man that doesn't have a $150,000 crank polisher. It's just to inform you that you're better off going to that crank grinder with a prescribed target of what you want the journals to be sized to because there is a limited amount of bearing variants available. So when you have a stock crankshaft, you can move the bearings around and get the clearance you want. When you're dealing with a turned crankshaft, things narrow down. So it's just about being able to walk into that crankshaft shop and say, this is what I'm targeting to get the bearing clearance that I need because you can't make small adjustments after the fact with different size bearings. I hope you've appreciated this video. Thanks and we'll see you next time.